from the creator of the award-winning Remarkable Results Radio Podcast. Now, listen to a slice of wisdom, a concept, a sentiment, a theory, and maybe even a rant from one of your industry colleagues. For the record... How are you? Carm Capriato here, and in just a minute, Brian Walker, co-owner of Shop Marketing Pros, explains his 13 foundational marketing tactics. Have you been thinking about integrating digital vehicle inspections in your shop? Well, look, implementing change can be a challenge, but it doesn't have to be painful. FlexCheck Auto DVI software is designed to conform to your shop's philosophy. It's not only fully customizable to your shop's needs, but it's easy to use. FlexCheck Auto guides the technician through the inspection process one step at a time. And with the ability to take and send pictures and videos, your customer sees any vehicle issues with their own eyes, including them in the repair process and boosting confidence in your shop. Now you have a consistent process, which in turn leads to higher average repair order and increased customer satisfaction. Start your 30-day free trial today at FlexCheckAuto.com. Find the talking points for this For the Record of Pine with Brian Walker at RemarkableResults.biz slash F045. And so glad to have you here on the Aftermarket's Super Learning Highway. Yes, people like you have made podcasting a part of their learning curve. Hey, the views and opinions expressed are those of my guest and do not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of the authors, sponsors, associates, or affiliates of LSTN Media LLC. Now, Brian Walker, co-owner of Shop Marketing Pros, explains that there is no silver bullet to marketing. He shares 13 foundational marketing tactics and is adamant that your marketing is consistent. When business is good, you keep marketing. And when it's bad, you keep marketing. Marketing requires patience, he says. It takes time to build momentum. Now, Brian Walker, for the record. One of the questions I get asked all of the time is, what's the single best tactic to use when marketing a small business like an auto repair shop? In this rant, I'm going to answer that question. And there's absolutely a definitive answer for this. First, though, let's look at what I'm really being asked when someone poses this question. Brian, I have little to no budget, and I don't have time to do things right in my business. What magical spell can I put out there that won't require me spending any money, won't take much of my time, And it'll have cars lined up outside of my shop tomorrow morning. Yeah, okay, so maybe that's a little harsh. But that's the world we live in today. We want instant gratification without putting in the work. That's probably not you if you're listening to this podcast. But if you did come here looking for that, it's probably that you've simply been misled by all the marketing gurus on Facebook who swear that they can make it rain customers on your business with their super secret three-step process that they'll teach you for only $997. Anyone listening that's ever had success with one of those, please tell me about it. Let's get real though. Here's the real marketing secret for auto repair shop owners that is guaranteed to bring you high quality new customers consistently. You ready? Here it is. Stop looking for silver bullets. You need to market your shop with all of the foundational marketing techniques. You need to do them well. You need to do them consistently and never stop doing them. What are the foundational marketing techniques I'm talking about? So I've got 13 of them for you. Number one, know who you're marketing to. Spend the time defining your customer avatars. Give them a name. Go online and find a picture that represents them. Print it out. Hang it on the wall. When you plan out your marketing, and you really should plan it out, make sure everything you're doing is marketed towards the person that's in that picture. Number two, have a good website that displays nicely on all devices, desktop, tablet, and phone. Number three, make that website stand out to the search engines by consistently adding good quality content and getting other websites to link to it. Number four, collect email addresses from every customer and email them at least monthly. Number five, be active on social media. Share your company culture, share your expertise, and every once in a while, ask someone to buy something from you. Number six, pull out your phone and shoot pictures and videos and do this often. Use these images and videos on your social media, your website, your YouTube channel, and in your emails. And while we're talking about video, shoot videos often that show off your expertise. Post them on social and YouTube and embed them into your website. Have them transcribed and place a transcription below the embedded video in a blog post. Your clients will love that content, and Google will love that content. 
Number seven, once per week, drop 20 to $50 on boosting a Facebook post. Organic social reach is at an all-time low. Just because you've always heard that Facebook is free doesn't mean that it still works as a free marketing tool. It might, but barely. And along those same lines, number eight, give some money to Google. Yeah, pay them to place your auto repair shop at the top of the search results when someone searches for the keywords you want to be found for. This is called pay-per-click advertising, and it works. It works really well. Number nine, ask people to leave your reviews. The average person won't do it unless you ask. Other people use these reviews to choose between shops. Number 10, join your chamber of commerce and actually get involved. Chambers of commerce are like gems. The membership only works if you show up and you do the work. Number 11, join a BNI group. BNI works amazingly well for auto repair shops. Number 12, sponsor the local Little League team. Your name on their shirts, it's probably not going to bring you any business, but there's just good karma that comes along with doing this kind of stuff. And number 13, actually fix the cars and be nice to people. This may be the most important marketing you do. If you don't think this is marketing, I'd ask you to rethink it. So do these things, do them well, and do them consistently, and never stop doing them. When business is good, keep marketing. When business is bad, keep marketing. When business is just the way you want it, and you don't want any more business, keep marketing. I promise you, if you implement these strategies, it'll pay off big for you. And also, be patient. Don't start doing this today and looking for the results next week. It takes time. It's like the giant flywheel that Jim Collins talks about in the book, Good to Great. It takes a while to get it moving, but once it's up to speed, it's very hard to stop. Thanks for listening to For the Record from Remarkable Results Radio. Subscribe to the show on your favorite podcast listening app. Find all Remarkable Results podcast content at remarkableresults.biz. 